Well guys, on my 96 Ford E350 Club Wagon, I already dropped the tank out and cleaned it out really good, put a new coating on it, and put a new Delphi pump assembly in it, and it's ready to go back in. However, the wiring for the fuel pump has a bit of an issue. Delphi provided us with a new pigtail harness that goes into the car, and since these wires were mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it close to the same length, maybe just a little bit longer, and then just cut all the wires. Okay, first thing we can do is just uh, transfer Christmas tree clip over to the new one. Okay, so here was the problem. This is the harness for the uh, fuel pump module that I pulled out of there, and it's gotta be aftermarket. So this is the one that goes on the car side, and if we put them together, according to the wiring diagram, the pink wire with the black stripe is the positive for the fuel pump. And this black wire that is diagonal to it is the negative for the fuel pump. And you can tell these wire gauges are a bit thicker, but if we follow those over to what they go to, the positive goes to the pink wire with the black stripe, which is uh, correct, but then if you go diagonal, it's a pink wire with the orange stripe. And this is a thin wire, and this goes to the ground for the fuel pump, which is incorrect because this is supposed to be going to the ground for the sender unit. And the thick black ground wire for the fuel pump is going to this small gray and red wire on the factory harness, which is the ground for the sender unit. So pretty much the grounds are swapped between the sender and the fuel pump. And since it's a lot smaller gauge wire for the sender, it's probably causing a bit of a voltage drop on the ground side for the fuel pump. Because when I tested the voltage drop, I was testing the sender side and I thought it was really low and it looked good. But in reality, we were probably getting a pretty big voltage drop going back to the instrument panel. However, the car did run. So whoever put this in just plugged it in and didn't even pay attention to the wire order at all, which is a pretty easy thing to miss. And uh, Delphi is confusing us a bit. Pigtail that came with the Delphi pump, um, the colors are different. So we just gotta make sure they're all going to the right place. And what's crazy is uh, Delphi did not include any information on uh, which colors are which for the fuel pump in their instructions. So I had to call Delphi. The red one is for the positive of the fuel pump. Black is the negative of the fuel pump. The purple or the blue one is the positive for the sender and the black with the white stripe and the white one is the negative for the sender. Another weird thing is all of these wires are the exact same size. Let's go ahead and measure them. Here to be about a 15 gauge, um, possibly a 16. It's a little tight. The fuel pump wires on the factory harness are about 15 or 14. So it's a little unfortunate that they're not the same size, but this is just a small little section. So I don't think it's really gonna cause any real voltage drop issues. Also another thing, Delphi provided these uh, blue butt connector crimps that are not waterproof. Like they don't have heat shrink on them, which makes no sense since it's outside. Um, I'm not sure what Delphi has been smoking, but uh, I kind of expect it a little bit better from them. I mean, I could have kept this harness, but the new pump assembly has the same uh, wiring as this one. So uh, I would have to like try to swap a pin around, but I didn't really want to bother with that. I'm just going to use the included pigtail that they gave me. However, I'm going to use uh, weather sealed crimps. And I actually already trimmed these up just so they'll fit in there perfectly. And I absolutely love these uh, Klein wire crimpers. Give it a nice tug, test it. Since these are all about 16 gauge, um, you can actually use the pink ones or the blue ones because the pink ones are 22 to 16 and the blue ones are 16 to 14. I'm gonna use the blue ones on the fuel pump wires since they're going into a slightly bigger gauge wire. And of course the pink ones for the sender. I also did a test in another video. Uh, the biggest thing is to have a quality pair of crimps. All right, those all look like good solid crimps. 
I'll just uh, connect the wires one at a time. With the positive of the fuel pump, so it's the pink wire with the black stripe, it goes to the red wire on this harness. Ground for the fuel pump. Next, we'll do the positive for the sender. Car side, this is the yellow with the white stripe. And that's gonna go to the purple. Yeah, I'm glad we used the pink ones for this. And last but not least, we have the ground for the sender, which is gray with a red stripe on the van side. All right, there we go. Let's give them a, all a nice little tug test. And I got a heat gun. Try to keep the heat away from the wire sections as much as possible. All right, we know we're done because all the adhesive is coming out each end and we'll just let that cool down for a little bit. We'll just stuff them into the wire loom here. I grabbed a little bit more wire loom so we can cover the rest of this as well. And I'll just cover it in electrical tape. And now we are ready to install the tank.